Okay, we're uh, still at Barberville Pioneer Settlement. We're at the Underhill House. This is the oldest brick structure in Fallujah County. Uh, it was built on this site from bricks fired uh, on the site um, from clay, which was uh, retrieved from, or mined rather, from uh, the nearby Deep Creek. So the, the, the material to make those bricks came from near here, and it was built right here, as you see it now, 1879. This is one of the two uh, extant structures of this village settlement uh, built on this site um, and remain here and are a part of the settlement. We're a good ways down from the actual, uh, the rest of the structures. I should say not the actual, this is part of the actual. The disappointing thing that I find right off uh, regarding this is that it's not open. This is one of the centerpieces of the, the, the Pioneer Settlement Village and we can't go in it. So it is what it is. We can, we're gonna peek through the windows. I don't know if they just let people in once in a while or they just don't want anyone in or whatever, but you can see through the windows that the, there's furniture and everything. It's, um, it's covered like you would if you were going somewhere for an extended visit. So when you came back, your furniture wouldn't be all dusty. I don't know when I was a kid, people used to do that. You can see here, you know, maybe it's not because it's, this is pretty rustic here. There isn't anything covered up about this. This is all just sort of a hodgepodge mismatch of stuff. So they must not, you know, have it ready for, for viewing. Over here, I think is where I saw the, uh, yeah, this is where you can see some of the uh, furniture is covered. And you have the classic, you know, Florida construction where you have the windows square with windows on the sides. Um, and the front, right directly opposite each other. They're not offset. They look right through here. This would be perfectly in line with the other one. And so is this, more, more or less in a, uh, a dog trot fashion, even though this wasn't a, a dog trot. Uh, this was a closed off area. But they would have had it um, situated so that uh, whatever breeze there was could could uh, could come through. Uh, above, we see the same thing. We see windows. I see two, four, six windows on top, and the front must be bedrooms. I don't see any in the back. There's a little breeze. I'm gonna say it's cooler over here than it is on the other coast. That is for certain. And here we have the other windows. There's four windows on this side. This is an add-on back here, obviously. Porch area, storage area. The porch is probably original. Some of the rest of it was probably built on later. Um, the storage part of it. These pilings are original and were here back in the day. And here we can see a much better view of the, there's a fireplace that's all walled up. So we have two fireplaces on either side of the house. And as we learned from some other uh, places we've been, the fireplaces would have been uh, in operation to a degree, whether they were just smoldering or, or full blown uh, all the time to take the moisture out of the air. And back here we have the back Oh. back doorway which was directly opposite the the, um, the front door what I'm guessing was the front door it looks like a front door to me anyway I don't know what this was or is uh, this is obviously some sort of brick configuration I don't know if it was a pier or a pylon or just a pile of bricks I think it must have had a purpose at one point uh, this building obviously had a purpose at one point though I don't know what that was may have been a barn or farm. These people were livestock and uh, citrus growers and you know agriculture, that sort of thing. So um, probably this would have been added on later. Probably in 1879, that was not there. That would certainly cut off your flow of whatever area there was. This is almost on a hill, so you would have wanted to build as high as you could and 
to get whatever breeze there was. So, um, too bad we can't come inside, but we are standing in front of and, and, and on the ground of uh, the oldest brick structure in Volusia County.